Good morning students. Today I am again here with the topic equality in Indian democracy. The word constitution has come again and again in this chapter. So what is the meaning of constitution? Constitution is a document that lays down the basic rules and regulations for people and the government in the country to follow. It means it is a rule book or a document written by Dr. B. R. Ambedkar according to which the country has to be governed by the governments and there are rules and regulations for the people also. So the two ways in which the government has tried to implement the equality are through laws and through government programs or schemes. Now how according to laws government has tried to implement the equality like article 15 of the Indian constitution guarantees equality to all the citizens of India. It also states that no individual can be discriminated on the basis of religion, race, caste, place of birth or gender. Means no person will be discriminated on the basis of their religion, race, caste, place of birth or the gender. Further, it abolishes or bans untouchability and assures every individual equal access to all public places means every individual every Indian citizen are allowed to go to all public places no one is going to stop them from going there then universal adult franchise what is that it means the Constitution also grants all adults the right to vote irrespective of their caste education wealth and religion this is known as universal adult franchise means all Indian citizens they are allowed to give their vote irrespective of their social or their economic backgrounds. There are many laws which help people from being treated unequally. There are several government initiated programs and schemes to improve the life of people who have been ill treated for several centuries means there are several government initiated programs and schemes to improve the life of the people who have been ill-treated. One such program is the midday meal scheme. Students, you, must, you might have learned about this program. This program is act, uh, started in the government schools. What is that midday meal scheme? Midday meal scheme means where lunch is provided to students of government elementary schools now what are the benefits of this midday meal scheme number one more poor children have started enrolling and attending the school after this program started many more people many more uh, poor uh, poor children have started enrolling and started enrolling and attending the schools now then it has helped in reducing caste prejudices because both lower and upper caste children take this midday meal together in the school means this program has helped in reducing caste prejudices because now after that the lower caste and the upper caste children both they sit together and they take the lunch together in the together in the school then it also help reduces the hunger of poor student who often come to school and cannot concentrate in studies because their stomachs are empty after this program the poor children they got a very much benefit of the program because now they can come to school and uh, they can get the food in the school only so these are the benefits of this program students Equality can be achieved only when we change our attitude and treat every individual with respect and dignity. Means we have to change our mindset. We have to give respect to every person. Then only every person will be, uh, will be respected. Surprisingly, India is not the only country that has struggled for equality. 
because in the world there are several any other more countries where inequality was practiced like we will see issues of equality in the other democracies in the united states the afro american were treated unequally for many years when traveling in public buses they either had to sit at the back or give their seat to a white person means in usa afro americans were treated very unequally they have to give their seats uh, front seats to the white people they were not allowed to sit on the front seat of the buses there were separate seats for them at the back side of the bus so in 1955 rosa parks an afro american re, uh, refused afro american woman she refused to give up her seat on a bus to a white man her this act resulted in violence and led to the civil right movement means uh, this after this act their civil rights movement started in america and due to the civil right movement later this civil right act was implemented and implemented it in the year 1964 it was implemented which prohibited discrimination on the basis of religion race or national origin although our government is also trying to bring equality amongst people but there are several communities that are struggling to maintain their dignity and equality in society means there are several communities that are still struggling to maintain their dignity and equality in the so student see this is a picture of rosa parks this is a picture of rosa park she was an afro american and she just changed the course of american history with one defiant act so what did we understood from this chapter we understood that the indian constitution guarantees equality to all indian citizen and does not allow the state to discriminate against any citizen on grounds of race caste gender place of birth or any of them then the indian constitution abolishes untouchability and assures every individual equal access to all public spaces means our constitution guarantees to us that we are allowed to go to all public places then in spite of the indian constitution guarantee equality to all indian economic background religion gender and caste still play still play an important role in the society for that we have to change our mindset okay when we will change our attitude when we will give respect to people then only the equality will come in the indian society to so student i think that you understood what is equality okay so how equality will come in the indian society okay thank you